Welcome to Electron Online, and our next video here is going to be on molecular orbital theory, and we're going to also talk about the bond order of a molecule. So the molecular orbital theory says that as atoms come together to form molecules, their electrons will be used in bonding. But the electrons, they come in two per orbital, and usually the first of each orbital, the first electron in each orbital, is able to, to come together, form a bond, and be in phase. But the second pair of electrons in that orbital, they usually form an antibond. And because of that, there is a repulsive force, and so there's a balancing of forces between the bonding and the antibonding of these electrons in these orbitals. So by using this clever little technique, we can say that we're bringing in electrons from the atoms that are involved here. In this, in this video, we're going to talk about lithium and beryllium. So we'll place atoms here in the s orbitals where they reside. And then when they form bonds, they either form sigma or pi bonds. In the case of the s orbitals here, they form sigma bonds. And either they form a bond or an antibond. The little asterisk there indicates that it's an antibond. So the first two electrons, they go into the sigma bond, and the next two electrons go into the antibond. And so then the attractive forces between the two electrons in the bond and the repulsive forces between the two electrons in antibond then kind of act against one another. And of course, if you have a bond and an antibond, the repulsive forces are about equal to the attractive forces, and that bond then is virtually not possible, and the type of molecule will not form. But if there's more electrons in the bonds and less electrons in the antibonds than the molecule can exist. In order to figure that out, we have this theory here, this equation that calculates the bond order, and it's simply the number of electrons involved in the bonds minus the number of electrons involved in the antibonds divided by two. And if that number is one or greater, the molecule can pretty well exist. If the number is zero, then it's very unlikely that the molecule will exist. So let's try out for lithium and beryllium. If we use lithium, we know that there's two electrons in the 1s orbital and one electron in the 2s orbital. So that would be for the one atom. And then for the other atom, we have the two electrons in the 1s orbital and one electron in the 2s orbital. And so we're going to see if lithium-2, or a diatomic lithium uh, molecule, can indeed exist. Well, let's see here. We take the first two electrons, we place them in the bond, like so. Then we take the next two electrons and place them in the antibond. So at this point, they would negate each other. But we have a third set of electrons, which will end up in the sigma bond here for the 2s orbital. And you can see now that there's more electrons in the uh, sigma bonds versus the anti-sigma bonds. And so therefore, you'd expect that this works. So let's calculate this out. So in this case, the bond order is going to be the number of electrons, which is four, which are involved in the bonding, minus the number of electrons which are involved in the antibonding right there. And we divide that by two. So in this case, that is equal to a one. And therefore, yes, um, lithium like that in a diatomic molecule does exist, the lithium molecule like that. Now, what if we have the lithium two plus ion? Can that exist? So the question would be now, if we have the lithium two, two plus. Is this a real thing? Can that really exist in nature? Well, if we take two electrons away, take these two electrons away, then these two electrons would disappear, and then we'd have the same number of electrons involved in bonding as antibonding, and then these repulsive forces would overwhelm the attractive forces, and know that molecule or that ion cannot exist, because in this case, the bond order would be zero. Let me use a different color now and start talking about the next molecule, which is beryllium. So for beryllium, we're going to, and let's say that Let's see if there's a diatomic beryllium uh, molecule like that. Well, with beryllium, we have to add one more electron in the 2s orbital here and one more for the other beryllium. So we have this side for the one beryllium atom and that side for the other beryllium atom. When we do that, that means we have two more electrons trying to form a bond, but they go into a situation where there is uh, where the two are not in phase, so they, there's a destructive situation. They push each other apart, and they create
video on the bond theory, the molecular orbital theory, as we call it.